So guys, I already have my um, aromatics here sorting. All I did was put some oil into my frying pan and threw in all of the aromatics. And if you look in the description box, I'll section off the ingredients for you all so you'll know all what aromatics go into here. And I'm just cooking this until it's very tender, very fragrant. Once the aromatics are nice and tender, I'm going to go in with my salted cod or salt fish. And my husband likes tons of salt fish when I'm making this for him. Just give that a mix and set it aside. So to my flour, I'm going to go in with baking powder. In goes yeast. And I'm going in with some Goya all-purpose seasoning or you can use a fish seasoning or any all-purpose seasoning you have on hand. Okay, we're gonna give this a mix. Now go in with your salt fish and aromatics. I'm gonna go in with some green seasoning. I'm just gonna add in some turmeric powder or saffron powder as we call it in Trinidad. Okay, start mixing. I'm gonna make sure that it's incorporated properly before adding in your water. Mommy, do you want no dough? No, no dough today. This is not dough, Papa. Now I'm gonna go in with my lukewarm water. I'm going to go in with half of the water and mix. You don't want to add all of your water at once. So once you mix and if you need your salty dry, go ahead and add a quarter of the half that's left. And mix. Okay, I'm going in with a little bit again, but not all. So you guys see how I'm adding it in a little bit at a time. You don't want to over add or place all of your water at once and then you'll end up with a very, very wet batter. So this is the consistency that I want. A nice thick batter like this. So I'm just gonna mix it to make sure it's properly mixed in with all of those ingredients. See, if you see any dry flour, that's why you want to mix it properly. So guys, I finished mixing the batter. What you can do at this point is taste your batter and see if it has enough salt. If not, you can add salt now to taste. Now I'm gonna cover this and set it aside for 10 minutes, which you don't have to, you can fry this right away. But I need to go take care of something and then I'll come back in 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'll put up my oil to heat and then we'll move along onto frying this. Okay guys, now it's time to fry and you guys know that I love using my small ice cream scoop to help me with this and I dipped it in some oil. We're going to go into the batter and pick up one scoop and this goes into our oil on a medium heat. These are not going to take very long to fry, maybe about a minute to two. I'm making them very small. This is a one inch scoop. So they're gonna fry up pretty quickly. Just gonna give them a flip. They're getting a really nice golden color already on one side. I'm gonna continue to add more to the other side of the frying pan. Guys, Accra is so easy to make and I do have a vegetarian version on the channel and I also have one that's made with the banana flour. So I'll link those for you all as end cards. So at the end of this video, you'll see it pop up on your screen. Click on that to take you to the respective videos. Don't mix up the ones that you just put in because those would be halfway cooked so try to keep it separate if you can't just fry them one batch at a time so this first set is finished I'm just gonna take it out and drain them on paper towels 
I'm gonna continue to fry the rest and when they're done I'll show you guys what they look like so guys let's break into one it's nice and crispy on the outside and still light and airy on the inside so I'm gonna bite into one so you guys can hear how crispy it is mmm really really tasty and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe make it comment down below let me know if you like it it tastes so good I'm gonna sit down and have me a plate so please stay safe and I'll see you in my next video bye